Dad didn't show up to mandatory court custody evaluation. Are my chances of getting sole custody good? So I would be asking why he didn't show up. You know, was he sick? Was there a reason? Did he end up in jail and nobody knows about it? Uh, you know, what, what are those reasons? But if there was a, an evaluation that was ordered and dad is not participating, obviously he's not gonna have a say, you know, in regards to that evaluation. And I don't know if this evaluation is similar, what we have as a GAL investigation, which is a guardian ad litem investigation. It's somebody, it's a generally a neutral third party who comes in, they speak with both the parties, they speak with the children, they speak with collaterals, they look through all the documents. Um, and then, you know, they write all that up in a report, submit it to the court along with recommendations. If that's what you're talking about and they're not participating in that, I, I'm a GAL. And if, I, if that had happened to me in my report would basically be, this is you know, a fight basically over custody, over um, you know, having a relationship with your children and that party didn't participate at all. They need a pretty good reason, but if they're refusing to participate, I would look at that with a negative connotation and probably there's a reason why they're not and use it against them.